guys, I'm Sebastian, host of Ninth Island Connection, your weekly lifestyle show about Las Vegas. Check out the description below so you can see how you can watch our television show wherever you are. You can stream us on Apple TV, Amazon Fire, Roku, all on the Hey Vegas app. So download it today. If you're in Southern California, the state of Hawaii, Las Vegas, Yuma, Arizona, you can watch our television show on Cox Cable. Check your local listings. In Hawaii, we're on K5 and KGMB on Sundays. So check us out. We're here at Vidara. Now, Vidara is a mixed use property, which means some people live here full time, some, I guess, Airbnb or have MGM manage their suites for them um, or their studios for them. We're gonna show you what it's like to stay at the dog. So this particular room is a studio parlor. So as you can see, this isn't a typical hotel room here in Vegas. As soon as you walk in, you're in this big entry area with a dining room table here for two, and you have a full kitchen back here. You've got two burners, you've got a fridge down here. One is stocked, one is for your use. So this right here is very different, right? Because MGM properties, you don't get a refrigerator in your room. You have to ask for it and you have to pay for it. In these rooms, you do get the stocked mini fridge, the mini bar, right? But you also get the one for your personal use. You get this big microwave for all your leftovers. You can bring them back to the room, right? Because now you can heat them up. You don't have to waste your food here in Vegas because let's Let's be honest, we over order when we eat out in Vegas and a lot of stuff goes to waste, right? Bring it back to the room, you've got a fridge, you can heat it up. You have all your cabinet space in here. Bring your own dishes if you want, because you're not gonna get them. You got a sink to wash up, storage, you got your trash can. Yes, you do have a garbage disposal and your drawers, right? I mean, pretty nice to be on Las Vegas Boulevard. Come on, let's check out the rest of the room. So when you come through the kitchen dining room area, you've got kind of a little like pseudo living room here, right? The room is split in two, let me show you. But first, let's let some light in. You have your controls right here on the wall. You've got a blackout shade and just a regular shade, right? So you can do them both at the same time. Shade up, that one up. So here you're in the living room, right? So we pass through the kitchen. We're in the living room, which I really like. You've got a couch here, you've got a couple end tables, you've got your coffee table, and you've got your flat screen. I really like this because it splits the room. You've even got a little writing desk here if you gotta get some work done. And you have a pull-out couch here as well. Check this out. It's right there. So now everybody can just crash and just stay over. Or better yet, you can split the cost of the room with more people. Now let's check out the bedroom. I'm gonna cut right through here. On the other side, it's your bedroom, right? And you've got your big king size bed right in the center. You've got your reading lights up here on the sides, individual lights, little end tables, really nice. What I like most about this you have another flat screen, right? So somebody's laying in bed, maybe having coffee in bed, you're ready to get going on the day, watch a football game, watch whatever you wanna watch. You can be on the other side in the living room and you guys each really have your own space. Okay. I really like that. Ah. So now let's talk closets. So some of the older rooms, right? Actually, even some of the remodeled rooms still have closets set up this way where you have a TV on top and then you have like a drawer, not even really a closet. Really old rooms, and you guys have seen our room tours, still have the big cabinets, right? Where you have the TV in there and then drawers in the bottom. Here, you get a really nice closet. Here, you got your rack, got your safe, a nice big closet. Now, do 
Do you need even more space? Come with me. Come on, don't be afraid, come on. You've got another closet in the bathroom. And while we're talking about bathrooms, let's talk about this bathroom. This is pretty sweet. You see what I did there, right? Because it's a parlor suite. This is pretty sweet. Right off of the bedroom here, you've got your door to kind of your see-through glass, there, which is really nice because you still get the natural light coming in. So right when you walk in, you've got a nice big counter. That leads you right into the toilet area. And then keep on going around to the left. Across from the toilet, you've got your shower, which is really like a steamer shower. That's why that bench is in there. You can crank the temperature all the way up, have a seat, keep the glass, and you can get a nice sweat going. And then, my favorite, if you guys watch my room tours, you know what I love most about a room? This. A nice, big, like, four feet deep tub that I am definitely gonna be in there. You got room for your drinks, where you can sit and soak your feet. Just awesome. You guys know I am definitely gonna be in there later on tonight. So now, let's take a look at the view. That's the, the main highway behind me there, and you've got kind of the back of the hotels. Now, if you're coming to Vegas and you're looking to get a strip view, Las Vegas Boulevard, all the lights down the street there in the evening, Vidara is not for you. Vidara is centrally located, but it's behind Aria. It's off of Las Vegas Boulevard. It's actually pretty far back because you've got the Shops of Crystals on Las Vegas Boulevard, right? That funky building with all the edges and all of that right on Las Vegas Boulevard. Then you've got Aria behind it. And then behind that is where Vidara sits. So you're not gonna get a strip view. But you know what? For this right here, I don't mind not having a strip view because you're not gonna be in the room just staring at Las Vegas Boulevard anyway, right? You're gonna be out enjoying it, so. All right, guys, that's a wrap for this one. Thank you so much. Let us know your thoughts. Have you stayed at Vidara? Do you like it? Do you hate it? What are your thoughts about the Vidara in Las Vegas? comment below, give us a like, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. All we do is bring you Vegas and you're watching this video because you're interested in Vegas, right? Also check out the description so that you can see how you can watch our television show wherever you are. Thanks guys. hours a day, seven days a week in a city that never sleeps, Ninth Island Connection will take you there. You won't want to miss a beat as we give you a sneak peek inside the biggest, best, and most outrageous hotspots both on and off the strip. Be sure to tune in to Ninth Island Connection with Sebastian Rodriguez every week. Great people, great stories, great connections, only on Ninth Island Connection.